man accused of killing a Utica teen was arraigned in Oneida County Court today. 21-year-old Brandon Clark is charged with second-degree murder in the death of 17-year-old Bianca Devins. News Channel 2's Caitlin Erla tells us what happened in court today. Brandon Clark walked into the courtroom today wearing an orange jumpsuit and a black protective vest. On the other side of the room, family and friends of Bianca Devins are wearing pink. Today, Clark pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder. The judge wouldn't have accepted a guilty plea at this point. District Attorney Scott McNamara says there is no plea deal being offered. Our offer is the defendant plead guilty to murder in the second degree, which is the only count in the indictment, and we're asking that he be sentenced to the maximum sentence that's allowable under law, and that's 25 to life. That's not an offer, at least in my definition of an offer. An offer is when you tell somebody if you plead guilty, we'll recommend something less. Um, in this case, that's not what's happening. It's the maximum. McNamara says this isn't something that is done often. He says an important thing to remember is that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Very seldom do we ever ask for the maximum because there's no motivation for the defendant to plead guilty. So he's presumed innocent, and the defendant has every right in the world to say, go ahead and prove me guilty because I'm not going to get one more day if you try me than if I plead guilty. With the graphic photos of the crime posted on social media, McNamara says that has made this case complicated. It is a social media case in the sense of some of the evidence was pushed out on social media, but we still have to prove who pushed that out. You still have to prove who killed her. So, for instance, anybody can take a picture of somebody that's dead. That doesn't mean they killed that person. So what is the next step? The next step is um, we, dis we provided discovery to um, Mr. Niebush today. Um, and anything that comes in between now and the time, any time going forward, we'll turn it over to him immediately. Um, I would assume he's going to be reviewing that. From our end, um, the, we'll go back to court. Clark will be back here in Oneida County Court on September 16th. Reporting in Utica, Caitlin Erla, News Channel 2. Illion Police 